If your student is a math whiz or even needs a little bit of help in the subject, like Teresa and I do at times, our next guest has some suggestions and a pretty unique talent. Yeah, he's called the Human Calculator. Scott Flansberg joins us here on CT Style. Scott currently holds the Guinness Book of World Records for adding a number to itself more times in 15 seconds faster than a calculator. Yeah. Did I say that properly? Yeah, it's, it's a little tricky. Wow. Basically, they found the fastest account in the world to use the calculator to yeah. race me for 15 seconds. <laughs> the judge chose 38. So I had to add 38 plus 38 plus 38 plus out loud as fast as I could. Can you do it for us? Yeah. Okay. Seven, well, you pick the number. I don't okay. want you to think uh, I planted that. Uh, 27? Sure. Yeah. 27, 54, 81, 108, 135, 162, 189, 216, 243, 270, 297, 324, 351, 378, 405, 432, 459, like that. I just keep going. You win. Wow. Just That's, keep it going. How did you realize you had this crazy talent? Well, when I was in uh, third grade, I got picked to go to the board to do some math, uh, to do adding with carrying, and, <laughs> and I did it backwards. Like, oh, my gosh. Uh -huh. Well, I did it backwards. So I thought I had to do it left to right like we learn how to read. Sure. And I just went 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 52. And she's like, how did you do that so fast? I go, don't you just go like this? She goes, no, you got to start over here. And I said, well, it's faster to go this way. So that's the day, even when I was that little kid, that I noticed that maybe teachers don't know everything. They're just doing the best they can. And maybe there are more efficient ways to get the answers. So by fifth grade, I was actually showing my math teachers better ways to teach <laughs> arithmetic. So it's just a passion of mine. And then I have a God-given ability to crunch numbers in my head faster than a calculator. So I just combine those two now and go around the world and visit schools. And I do programs for companies and just try to help people feel more comfortable with numbers in everyday life. Sure. Well, we don't really feel so comfortable with numbers, Ryan and I. So we have a little bit of a quiz here. Yes. Um, yeah. OK, I got it here. And I have a hunch you're going to be us yeah, this. let's maybe, do this. Okay, maybe. so, well, we'll this see. is easy. 8 times 64 divided by 2. So that's 8 <laughs> times 32. That's 256. So oh, that's right, an easy right. one. Uh, 16 plus right. 27 minus 18 times 2 is 36. Six. So that's 43 minus 6 is 36. Six. 7. Seven. Seven. Last yeah, one is 222 yeah. times 2 is 444 four. plus 17 is 461 seven. divided by 3 three. is 153.66666. Yada, yada, yada. I couldn't even do the first one. Easy stuff. Wow. So I've been doing numbers since I was a kid. And so there's all these patterns and things but we just don't think that way. All of our kids are learning basic arithmetic using memorization and mm -hmm. flashcards and things like that. Doesn't really, doesn't really teach logic. And so I've discovered a pattern in numbers that I think is going to revolutionize the way kids are taught arithmetic. So it's real easy. Everything goes back to the number 9. Okay. So if you think of the number 11, all right, you just write down the number and now add up all the digits. The 1 plus the 1 adds up to 2. You just put the total of the digits under the number and subtract. 11 minus 2 is 9. So let's try it with like 13. You just add the numbers together. 1 plus 3 is 4. 13 minus 4 oh my is 9. So pick a number okay. and just say it out loud. Uh, 176. 176. 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 6 is 14. You put the total underneath and you subtract, you get 162. And if you look at your answer, 1, 6, and 2 adds up to 9. So that, that happens with every number? To infinity. And, and if you could teach your kids this, my goal is to reach every kid around the planet Earth that's around 9 years old. So when they're 9, every number they see on the planet comes back to their age, the number 9. So they're going to feel like every number is their friend. And that'll make them feel fluent in the language of numbers. And I think that'll give us a foundation where now our teachers could teach kids math. But right now, they don't understand basic arithmetic there's no way they can understand algebra. So I'm on tour. Uh, we're introducing a new app called Tab Tour. It's taking advantage of technology mm -hmm. and tutors. It's a tutor on a tablet. That's why it's called Tab Tour. Okay. And your kid can do all their math homework on their tablet. Just they love being on the tablet anyway. And if they need help, they hit a button and they, are, they have a tutor available to them. They, they can send a voicemail. Mm -hmm. They can write a question. We have instant I replay. That, How helpful right? would that be? And, and so parents can do it for free. They download the app. Mm -hmm. They register their kids. The kid gets their math tutor for free for two weeks. Let us see what happens over the summer, if we can help them out. And then we have a contest running right now. It's a challenge. Kids can win like PlayStation 4s, iPods, and That's things like idol, that. That's the idol, the math idol challenge? Math idol challenge. We're just trying to give kids a chance to feel special. We celebrate athletes and singers and all that, but we don't really celebrate uh, people that are mental athletes. And sure. so I want to celebrate that. So the challenge is just to get kids excited about learning. And the best part about our app is when the kids get done with their homework, they get points. And they can cash those in for gift cards and go use them on Amazon or you know wherever they this want. Is we're making math fun. That's you great. just said right? it all. It's, it sounds like an oxymoron, right? It's, but it actually is. If only we had this. And, and, and where can the kids sign up? Yeah, my website's thehumancalculator.com. Okay. Or they just go straight to tabtour.com. And it's all free. They get two free weeks. And it's just a lot of fun. And wow. we're just trying to help kids have a positive experience with math and help parents over the summer. They're just paralyzed because they don't know what they're learning. This is all common core line. That's just true. makes yeah. it easy for everybody. Hey, Real before, quick. give yeah. me your birthday. OK, July 31st, 1990. <laughs> that was on a Tuesday. 
you turn you turn 21 1990 you said right so yeah. you turned 21 in 2011 right? right that was on a sunday oh. wow good weekend how about you teresa awesome. go that we're not doing my age <laughs> no, you can't leave me Scott, thank you so like much that. for being here thanks for that's having me really an incredible talent thank you have. You. <laughs>